Hello kids, good to have you with us. Happy Sunday. Today we are going to learn about listening for God's voice. Never place a period where God has placed a comma. God is still speaking. Now, some people think that God stopped speaking when the Bible was finished. See, a Bible has a front cover, right? And a back cover. And some people think that the back cover is like a period and that God stopped speaking at the last period in the last book of the Bible. But what if someone wrote a book about me? When the book is finished and has a back cover and a front cover and a last sentence, which ends in a period, does it mean that I stopped speaking? Does it mean that every word I will ever say is in here? No, I am still speaking. It's the same with God. Just because there is a book written about God doesn't mean God stops speaking, right? And if God is still speaking, then, oh my, we had better be listening. So how does God speak? Well, one way God speaks is through the Bible. That's a really important way. Through the people in the Bible, through Moses and Jesus and the prophets, that is a really important way for us to understand and hear God. But it's not the only way God speaks. So, if the Bible is not the only way God speaks, and if God is still speaking, and God is still speaking, how else does God speak? Well, Let's ask some strangers on the street what they think. Here's a stranger. Let's ask her. Excuse me, stranger, may I ask you a question? Sure. How do you listen for the voice of God? I like to listen for the voice of God in nature, in the wind and in the sound of water, in the birds singing and the bees buzzing. I hear God's voice in the sounds of nature. And what is it that you hear God saying through nature? The voice of God tells me to care for creation, to protect the animals and the environment. The sounds of nature also tell me to stop making so much noise myself. Stop talking and listen. Sit and listen. Listen and take it in. Wow. Thank you, good stranger. I will be sure to listen more to nature and through nature to listen for the voice of God. Well, that was a wonderful interview. Let's try again. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, here's a stranger. Let's ask her. Excuse me, stranger. May I ask you a question? Thank you. How do you listen for the voice of God? I listen for the voice of God in the voices of children. Children are very spiritual and are especially close to God. What do you hear God saying through the voices of children? I hear God saying that we should be innocent as children, that we should live in the moment and not worry about tomorrow, that we should trust God as children trust their parents. And when I listen to children, I also hear God saying that we should play more and work less. Play more and work less. That sounds like God to me. Thank you very much, good stranger. I will be sure to listen more to children and through children to listen for the voice of God. Well, that was great. So here we are outside again, and let's see if we can find one more person to ask the question of. Oh, there's a stranger. Hello, good stranger. I have a question. I wonder if I could ask you a question. The question is, how do you listen for the voice of God? Oh, that's easy. I listen for the voice of God at church meetings. Let's say we have something to decide, something hard, a problem that's hard to understand and fix. We go around the table one by one and ask each person what God would do. We listen to each other, hoping God will speak through one of us. We listen and listen and listen until God's voice becomes clear. Remember what we started with. 
never place a period where God has placed a comma. God is still speaking. And because God is still speaking, you and I, we had better be listening. Children, for the closing prayer, I invite you to put your hands behind your ears like this and repeat after me. God, you honor us by always listening to our every word, our every need, our every cry. Help us to honor you by listening for your voice. Help us to make time to stop speaking, to sit still and listen. Open our ears and open our hearts to hear your still speaking voice. And let us all say, Amen.